Hello everyone and welcome to QK Tech News. Today is a good day for the Green Movement. Cochin International Airport in India has become the world's first airport that's completely run on solar power. The plant has 46,150 solar panels spread out through about 45 acres. Cochin International Airport began development for a fully functional solar powered airport in March of 2013 in an effort to go green. The airport will reduce carbon dioxide emissions by about 330,770 tons over the next 25 years. The company said this reduction in carbon emission is the equivalent to planting 3 million trees or not driving 1.2 billion kilometers or 750 million miles. Who knows, in the future other airports will also follow suit. Northrop Grumman, a global security company that makes advanced aircrafts, is planning a mission to Venus. Its newest idea called VAMP, which stands for Venus Atmospheric Maneuverable Platform, is an inflatable propeller plane that will fly around Venus gathering data of the planet's atmosphere. Venus has a temperature of around 460 degrees Celsius and its ambient surface pressure is around 900 Earth atmosphere. That's probably enough to crush the plane or do major damage. So the VAMP will fly in the upper atmosphere of about 50 kilometers continuously. The last mission to Venus was in 1989 using the Magellan spacecraft. It studied the planet for four years and two months and was decommissioned in 1994. Okay, technically it burned up in Venus's atmosphere. Sorry, the Venusian atmosphere. That's the proper way to say it. Uh, pay attention to NASA's upcoming new Frontiers Planetary Science Competition, where along with uh, other competitors, you'll see Northrop Grumman and their hopefully functioning VAM prototype. All in all, the mission will cost around $1 billion, and it needs funding from NASA. So how likely are they to win? It depends on what they can produce. NASA isn't about to invest in a company that has big ambitions, but little to produce up front. So, We'll just have to wait and see until the convention. Samsung is entering the race to provide internet worldwide using 4,600 satellites that can produce speeds of up to one terabyte per second. The company calculates that every month, one trillion gigabytes or one zeobyte of data will be used by the world. In order to combat this, the 4,600 satellites will be placed in the stratosphere. Though it's not a new idea, and there's already heavy competition. There's Google's Project Loon, which involves large balloons. There's Facebook's solar power plane that beams Wi-Fi using lasers. And SpaceX and OneWeb have plans to launch satellites into the stratosphere. SpaceX plans to launch 4,000 satellites in low orbit, and OneWeb plans to launch 700 satellites. So there's all sorts of competition. Thank you guys for watching QK Tech News. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like the video. We'll see you next time.